Minecraft's craziest mod, Distant Horizons, is now feature complete and they're just working on performance now that it's officially in beta. In this quick video, I'll be showing you the brand new features in Distant Horizons that should be absolutely mind-blowing, especially if you know anything about this mod. Before we get into it, this is Distant Horizons with shaders versus just Minecraft with 32 chunks rendering. Distant Horizons plus shaders, it's absolutely insane. Previously, Distant Horizons worked on servers, although you needed to fly around and actually see things in the world for them to be loaded in and remembered pretty much permanently. This, however, has changed with a massive update to server-side settings. Essentially, right now, you can add Distant Horizons to not only your client and get amazing views, but you can also add it to the server-side to not only give other players all of the currently generated Distant Horizons chunks, but also generate generate chunks without having to fly around or move around at all, which is fantastic for survival worlds. Not to mention, when you're hundreds or even thousands of blocks away from your friends, you can still look into the distant horizon and you can watch in almost real time your friends playing the game outside of your visible chunks. For example, here's 32 chunks. Then here's Distant Horizons, and if your friend is sitting just outside of a render distance while they're, say, building, making towers, bases, and things like that. In near real time, so just a few seconds, you'll see the changes they make pretty much as soon as they do. Before we get into showing you exactly how to set this up, this video was sponsored by Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a fantastic Minecraft server host with super low latency, powerful DDoS protection, fantastic customer support, automated backups, and way more, I'd highly recommend you check out Apex Hosting using the first link in the description down below. Check the current discount code in the top right. Currently, it's Apex25 for 25% off your first invoice. Click Get Started. Choose your Minecraft edition, be it Bedrock, Java, or any other game for that matter. Custom Customize your server as you see fit, order now, and in no time you'll have a completely customizable, super powerful Minecraft server set up. A huge shout out to Apex Hosting for continuously sponsoring this channel. So let's speak about it. How exactly do you get this set up? In the description down below you'll find a link to Modrinth Distant Horizons. Here you can get the latest version of this plugin that can be used on your client side and now server side too. This mod works for Forge and Fabric and brand new as of just a few hours ago. Distant Horizons also works for Bucket and Spigot servers if you'd like to add it to a more vanilla server environment. All you need to do is choose Download in the top right, then select your game version, in my case 1.21.4, and download NeoForge, Forge, or Fabrics jar over here. Once you've got it downloaded, drop it into your client's mod folder, and you're done. This will allow you access to Distant Horizons in single player and multiplayer too, though you'll need to generate and navigate through chunks first in order for them to be remembered and loaded on your system. But simply by adding this exact same jar file into your server folder, be it Fabric or Forge, then all of the Distant Horizon chunks generated by players and your server, which is also pretty cool, will be sent out to all of the players on the server if they have Distant Horizons installed. If you're instead using a Bucket or Spigot server, you'll find a link in the description down below to the Distant Horizons server plugin, which is currently only through the official team's GitLab page. All you need to do here is scroll down, Distant Horizons plugin, and you'll find the latest release here. Click this, then download the jar files here, which takes you to Google Drive, where you can then download the latest version matching your server. This may change in the future, and you'll find an updated link down below when it does. So to get started from the very beginning, if you haven't got a fabric installed at all, you'll find links to server guides for Forge Fabric down below. And for the client side instead, to install Fabric, you'll find a link down below. Just choose Download for Windows, save and open the installer. Then inside of here, choose your Minecraft version and then just click Install. It'll then pop up in your Minecraft launcher as Fabric Loader. The first time you launch up the game, your Minecraft folder will have a brand new folder inside of it called Mods. In order to get there, hold Start or the Windows key and press R and inside of here, type in percentage app data percentage backslash dot Minecraft 
as such. Open this up and assuming you've launched Fabric once before, you'll have a brand new mods folder. If not, create it and open it up. Inside of here, you can then drag and drop the Distant Horizons jar file you downloaded from Modrin earlier. Then you'll also need to download the latest version of the Fabric API, also linked down below. Choose Download, select your matching game version, in my case 1.21.4, download and add that jar as well to this folder here. Once you do this and launch up your game, Distant Horizons should then be installed. In my previous video, I also covered setting up shaders and a couple of performance mods. Those are Sodium, which gives you better performance, and Iris, which gives you access to shaders and more. Once you've got your game customized as you see fit, assuming you run a server, the installation steps are exactly the same. And inside of my Fabric server, which I set up previously, linked down below, you'll find a mods folder. And inside of here, just drag and drop the Distant Horizons jar file and things should work great. Oh, and you'll also need Fabric API here too, if you haven't already got it. With just these two mods installed, your game, should be looking immaculate in no time. Once you've got this mod installed for both your client and your server, simply just logging in and standing still anywhere should slowly generate chunks around you in a circular pattern. This will happen just in the background and after the server's been running for long enough around wherever you're standing lost, you'll be able to see far into the distance without actually needing to travel anywhere, which is huge. This goes for you and, assuming another player wants to join your server, they just join it and, assuming they have Distant Horizons installed, it'll reach out to the server and slowly download Distant Horizons chunks around those characters too. Keep in mind, this is just 32 chunks. I'm honestly not able to play Minecraft without Distant Horizons anymore. It's just that important. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Just make sure that in the client side, Escape Options Distant Horizons, this icon up here, you've got Enable Rendering enabled, of course, and you've got Enable Distant Generation over here enabled as well in order to download chunks from the server. You can further customize it in advanced followed by server over here, a new tab where you can customize things here. To change it on your server side, such as how aggressively chunks are generated there, open up your fabric or whatever it is server folder. Once you've run it at least once with the Distant Horizons mod installed and inside of the config folder, you should now find distanthorizons.toml. This simple text file allows you to customize how the Distant Horizon generation works. You can customize how fast it's sent out to players, max generation distance around a player, and and things like that. After your server's been running for a short while, you'll find that inside of the world folder, followed by data, you'll have distanthorizons.sqlite. This is your Distant Horizons database, and this thing over here stores all of the Distant Horizons chunks loaded and generated all around the world, giving all of the players that connect to your server pretty much instant Distant Horizon access, which is huge. From here, the developers have said that this mod is pretty much feature complete. All of the things that they wanted to add to it have now been added, hence it's moved from alpha to beta, but of course, the next few months are gonna be focusing on pretty much just performance to get things working even better than they do now, as your FPS does take a medium hit, especially if you're using shaders. That being said, I'd sacrifice pretty much any FPS to make Minecraft this amazing. And besides the planned performance updates in the future, currently things have been improved quite a bit, such as, for example, the border between Distant Horizons and your actual chunks being played around with, where especially without shaders, the change between these two is much more unnoticeable, meaning that things just blend a lot smoother and your game should be a lot more seamless, especially while you're flying around or just playing with friends. But that's pretty much it. A huge shout out to the Distant Horizons developers for making something this amazing. And of course, a quick shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide. Hopefully you found this video useful. Of course, you'll find everything linked down below from how to set up this mod, as in a more detailed guide on that for things that I've just skipped over here, which was my last video, as well as how to set up servers if you wish to self-host them and everything like that. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My has been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.